Hi, in this problem, we are going to find the limit of this as u approaches infinity. So basically, you can just do it, uh, or you can show some work. Let me show you how to actually just write the answer down, and then I'll show you how to actually show some work if you want to show some work. So basically, u is approaching infinity, and you have a polynomial over a polynomial. And so what really matters is the terms of highest degree. So in the numerator, that would be this one here, for u to the fourth. In the denominator, if you multiply this out, you get u squared times 2u squared, and the term of highest degree will be 2u to the fourth. So basically, you can ignore all terms of lesser degree, and this is basically um, going to be approximately equal to 4u to the fourth over 2u to the fourth. So as u approaches infinity, the only thing that matters are those terms. So it's basically like 4 over 2, which is equal to 2. Um, intuitively, you could write it like this, 4u to the 4th plus 5 over u squared minus 2, 2u squared minus 1. And you could say this is approximately equal to 4u to the 4th over 2u to the 4th, which is 4 over 2, which is equal to 2. And so that's the answer. However, if you're doing this for like a class, maybe you're in college or high school or something, or maybe you just want to show more work, um, let me show you how to do that. So u is approaching infinity. You have 4u to the 4th plus 5 over u squared minus 2, 2u squared minus 1. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start by basically multiplying this out. So this is the limit as u approaches infinity of 4u to the 4th plus 5 over, and let's just multiply it out. So u squared times 2u squared is 2u to the 4th u squared times negative 1 is minus u squared. This times this is minus 4u squared. And this times this is plus 2. So now we can combine like terms here and clean this up. So this is the limit as u approaches infinity of 4u to the 4th plus 5 over, and then now we can combine these. There's a negative 1 here, there's a negative 4 here. So this is 2u to the 4th minus 5u squared plus 2. All right, so now it's a little more clear that it's basically 4 over 2 um, because basically you can ignore all these terms. But let's just say like you're still not convinced, right? Like, wait, I want to see more work. So we can actually show more work. So what we can do is we can multiply by 1 in a clever way. We can multiply by 1 over u to the 4th over 1 over u to the 4th. So basically what we're doing is basically we're going to divide every single term by u to the 4th. And that basically amounts to doing this. So this is why you can divide everything by u to the 4th. This is the limit as u approaches infinity. So it's 4u to the 4th over u to the 4th. I'll show all the steps so you see it. Plus 5 over u to the 4th over, and then same thing here, 2u to the 4th over u to the 4th minus 5u squared over u to the 4th plus 2 over u to the 4th. All right, so these cancel, these cancel. And um, let's just clean this up a little bit more. This is the limit. Okay, so here we have 4, and then we have this. 2 minus, this is going to be 5 over u squared, and this is 2 over u to the 4th. Now it's a little more clear. As u approaches infinity, you can see that um, this fraction is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So is this one, and so is this one, because in each of these fractions, the denominator is getting bigger because u is approaching infinity. Whenever you have a fraction and the bottom part is getting bigger, the fraction approaches zero. So we drop the limit sign. It's going to be 4 plus 0 over 2 minus 0 plus 0. So we just get 4 over 2, which is 2, and that's the answer, which we knew at the beginning of the problem, but if you wanted to show some work, this is how you would do it. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.